Hi guys and welcome to the channel. This video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Wavelength Thunderbolt uh, dock. Um, I bought this dock uh, to test it on my um, Razor Blade 15 laptop that I have. Um, so I wanted to see uh, if I can expand not only my USB 3.0 parts but also my multiple monitor display. Um, so this is a quick unboxing and I'll uh, talk a little bit about what and how compatible uh, this particular dock is with the Razer Blade uh, 15 that I have. Um, the version that I have has an RTX 2070 graphics card. Um, so here we go, we just open up this Wavelink Thunderbolt docking station um, and uh, it has um, a lot of different ports uh, for us to utilize. Uh, it has a dual uh, 4K uh, 60 Hertz um, you know display um, port and uh, I believe as I open up the box here uh, you'll also see they provide adapters so they give you two HDMI to display port adapters uh, that you can um, you know plug in if you don't have display port um, cables and you have HDMI uh, the, that's a nice little added bonus to the dock itself uh, on the front facing you have a USB-C with a USB-A um, you know 3.0 uh, connection uh, a analog audio that works both as a mic and speaker connection and then in the back you have a uh, NIC port uh, along with um, additional three uh, USB 3.0 ports uh, and uh, part of the dock also includes the Thunderbolt um, cable itself so the uh, and that'll plug into the USB-C port that's on the back side of the uh, the uh, the docking unit itself. Uh, the power supply is uh, quite big. It's a uh, 120 watt power supply, uh, but it is included. And um, you know, it's a it's a very simple um, docking station uh, for it's supposed to be compatible with both PC and Mac. Uh, what I've read on Amazon was a couple of reviews stating that. The um, for the razor blade itself, the uh, the dual display doesn't work. Only one of the display port will work. But hey, you know what? Um, I'll be able to uh, test this on my unit and give you guys uh, some of my thoughts and uh, reviews on this. Um, so okay, so we we got the um, port plugged into the razor blade uh, 15, and. Um, and uh, one thing that I've noticed uh, with this particular uh, dock um, is that uh, the Razer Blade 15 does pick it up as a Thunderbolt dock and uh, the USBs uh, work perfectly fine. Uh, one thing that um, I did notice is that just like a lot of the comments uh, from Amazon stated that the, the dual display uh, could be a hit or miss. So on my particular uh, setup that I have uh, with the Razer Blade 15, uh, I was able to get uh, two of them working, but I would get the monitors intermittently connecting. Um, so I found that in, in terms of stability wise, uh, I was only able to use one of the ports on this dock. So it's a little bit of a bummer, but um, you know, I tried updating the driver on the, on the unit and it still uh, wasn't able to get the second port uh, to function um, you know, in a stable form. Uh, like I said, it would sometimes connect and sometimes it would disconnect. Um, so, uh, so definitely there's some type of uh, negotiation going on in terms of determining the display. Um, I haven't tested the dock on my Mac yet. Uh, since I use my razor blade as my primary machine for um, not only for work but for editing and things like that too. Um, so, um, and then one correction: the uh, the Thunderbolt port uh, for the USB-C connection uh, to the to the um, dock is actually in the front. So, so my bad on say, stating that that USB connection is on the back side of the the, the dock. It's actually on the front side. So there's actually two USB-C connections. Uh, one is meant for the Thunderbolt uh, dock um, to connect to your machine, and then the other is just a standard USB-C connector uh, that I normally connect my solid state drive, external solid state drive to. Um, but yeah, other than that, the, um, the unit actually has been performing quite well, and it's uh, a nice little dock that I can just plug into my machine uh, you know, when I have it at home and, you know, due to the times with the last couple months with a lot of people working from home, uh, it, uh, the benefit of having this dock and tying it into my home, uh, display system with multiple monitors has been, um, you know, quite, um, uh, quite easy and, and very efficient. Um, other than having that second port not work, um, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, 
I'll post an update if there's any uh, changes to drivers or anything that I find as a workaround to get that second port to work on the Razor Blade 15. And again, this is only my experience with my setup. Your experience can be a lot different. Um, but what I'll post down in this video is the link to Amazon to this particular dock. To me, I felt it was a, a very good price point for a dock compared to other docks that I've seen uh, online. And I've tested a few docks, even more expensive docks than these, uh, that ran into some, some issues as well too. So in terms of the overall number of ports and the ability to kind of expand and have other devices attached to the, the dock, I think it works really well. Uh, I have my um, uh, Elgato capture card, uh, external capture card that's attached to this. I also have uh, a couple of webcams, uh, USB 3 webcams that are attached to the dock, along with zero, uh, two external drives, one solid state, one spinning. Um, but yeah, it definitely gives, uh, expands the, uh, the additional ports that I normally would utilize off of my, my laptop as a workstation. So, um, I would probably rate in, in terms of a score, if I had to give this a score that this dock is, is a, a solid eight. Uh, I think it's going to work for, for the most part for me, uh, would have been a higher score if I could have got the dual display on the dock to work, but Hey, you know, my blade 15 has a mini display port out and also an HDMI. Um, so, you know, it just takes me to plug those two monitors into those two ports and then use the third monitor off of the dock. Um, so if you guys have any comments, uh, questions posted it in the, uh, the bottom below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Uh, thank you for stopping by. And if you like this video, just hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe and I'll post other videos and other reviews on some uh, technology pieces, um, that, uh, that I work on. So. All right, guys, have a great day. Thank you.